I'll be showing how to create a crank wheel that controls a sliding door. Create a new entity and change its class to Prop Anim Interactable. Open the model browser and search for crank. Select the crank wheel. Below the model field, there are six fields called target completion value, A through F. The entity will fire output A when it is rotated by the amount in the target completion value A field. This means that if the value is set to 1, then the output will fire after one full turn. If it's set to 0.5, it will fire after half a turn. Setting it to 2 means that the wheel will have to be spun around twice to fire output A. By default, the prop anim interactable doesn't go beyond one cycle, so go down to the limit forward field and set it to 2. This will allow the wheel to be spun around twice. If you want the wheel to go backwards when the player lets go of it too early, enable return to completion. The field Total Animation Duration controls how long it takes to return to the start. Go to the Outputs tab and add a new output, on completion A, exclamation mark self, lock. This will prevent the wheel from moving once it hits target completion value A. Next, let's add a door that moves when the wheel is turned. Create a new entity and change its class to Prop Dynamic. Set its model to Warehouse Door 01A. Select the block tool and create a new mesh that matches the size of the door prop. Change this mesh's texture to no draw. Press Ctrl T to make it an entity and then change its class to Funk Move Linear. Give it a name and change the move direction to minus 90, 0, 0. This will make the door go upwards. Open the Spawn Flags drop down and check Not Solid. Return to the Prop Dynamics properties. Open the Hierarchy drop-down and change Parent to the name of the Move Linear Mesh. Now go back to the Crank Wheel and go to Outputs. Add a new output, Position, the name of your Move Linear Mesh, Set Position. Now when the wheel is turned, the door will move with it. There are a lot of different properties on the Prop Anim Interactable Entity, such as the sound it makes when used. I recommend experimenting with some of these options to learn more.